YouTube, what's going on? Streamers Playbook here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a queue on your Twitch using Streamlabs OBS, okay? I have found that Streamlabs OBS is the easiest way to do it. I love the software, as you know. I'll put a link to Streamlabs OBS Prime if you're interested down in the description. It's what I use. They're incredible. It's super simple, and a lot of the videos I saw on YouTube today, I feel like they're just not going into enough depth about the queues and how to set it up. So I'm going to do that here in this video to help you out with your queues. Queues are great if you're playing with viewers and you want to set up and kind of put them in a line okay a lot of times what happens is it's hard to keep track a lot of people want to play with you let's say you're playing fortnite and they're like i want to squad up with you you could put them in this queue and then just go through it in order or choose at random the players you played with and then kind of check them off like, okay play with you play with you makes it easier for you and allows your viewers to see where they are in line so they kind of know what to expect of uh, when to play with you as a streamer all right super simple and again this is going to be a good video so let's go ahead and dive into this. And as always, if you like those transitions, own.tv, I put a link in the description. Best overlays out there, okay? Emotes, transitions, overlays, they got it all. So as you can see here, we're on my Streamlabs OBS homepage, all right? And what I wanna do is go over here to the side where this little cloud symbol is, and you wanna click on it. It's gonna open up a new tab. It's gonna take you to your cloud bot. Now I'm inside my cloud bot. You wanna make sure that this cloud bot is enabled up here. I had a whole made a whole video about how to set up your cloud bot. If you want to know more information about setting it up, check out that video in the description. But go ahead and just, main thing here, just make sure this is enabled. That's so that your cloud bot is on. Now you want to go down here to your commands. These are the, your custom commands that you've made. Again, I go over that in that video. But you want to go here to the default commands, all right? You see here, default. Go ahead and click that. Now you want to scroll down to where it says Q, as you can see here. Now this is how you're going to set this up. What you want to do is make sure, first off, that all these are enabled. So that means like your open queue, close queue, all this stuff is, is enabled. And then what you want to do now is you can go over here to this pencil icon and you could edit your queue. I keep it, if you just keep it default like I do, it's, it's simple. And I, I think that's what most people know and recognize. So I would keep it like that. But you could adjust what you want the command name to be. Also your response. Now this you do want to be, you do want to edit. So I have right now a queue has been open for It'll give you the option you could add it in there if you had it already, but I put Fortnite, type exclamation point join to join. You could get a little bit more creative with that, but that's what I got. So I'm like, okay, that looks good. So once this is all set up, it looks good. You have it the way you want it. You want to go back to your Streamlabs OBS and you're going to type in the command op uh, exclamation point open Q. Now Q is a tricky word to spell, so make sure you spell it right. And it should give you the response. The Q has been open for Fortnite, type exclamation point to join or whatever your custom response was, all right? So now your queue is open. So now what your viewers will do, they'll come in and I'm gonna just show you, they'll go exclamation point join. And then you're gonna see here, it says streamers playbook, you have joined the queue at position number one. So let's say Shark Dog came into your stream. Shark Dog, you have joined the queue at position number, and that's just the response it'll be, okay? So now I know, and if I go over here now, back to my cloud bot, I, and this is the part that I feel like a lot of these videos on YouTube weren't showing people, is you're gonna go and you're gonna go to the queue on CloudBot itself. So go over here and where it says Q, it's on the same line as the commands. And this is my Q, these are my pending users. So as you can see, I'm in there. And so you can search a name, let's say a huge Q, you're a bigger streamer and you, hey, I just want subs. You have all these people in your Q and you could just type in, you know, uh, whoever's in there and then find them and choose them. You can remove your whole Q obviously like that. Or if you wanna pick a, a random person in your Q, you would go like that. If you wanna get rid of someone, you go obviously click the trash can. Let's say now that me and you played, hey, we're good, that was fun, we got to win in Fortnite, whatever. Go ahead and click this arrow button, and now it puts them on the queued users. That means that they're, they're done. Like, you played with them, they're on that side, so you're good, okay? You could delete them here, too, if you want, and I'm just going to delete myself, right? If you wanted to remove everyone that is on that list, you would just click remove all. If you wanted to close the queue, let's say, okay, I'm done. I don't want to have any more people joining the queue. You can go ahead and click this close queue button, or... You or your mods, what you can do, again, go back to Streamlabs, and you would type in exclamation point, close queue, okay? And as you see there, it says the queue for, and you would put in the name Fortnite or whatever the queue is, has closed, you can no longer enter. So now, users in your chat, they can't, in your chat, they can't join anymore. But let's say someone was in your queue and they decided, hey, you know what, this person's kind of whack, I don't want to play with them anymore. They would just type in exclamation point, leave, and then they would leave the queue, okay? So it's, it's super simple. And I think it's great. Again, I hope this was helpful. I'm coming out with videos every day now to help you all with streaming. I'm just starting to do that. 
So if you're interested in streaming and you just want daily tidbits and help for streaming, I'm here for you. Go ahead and subscribe to get to get connected with me. Like this video if it was helpful. Comment if you have any questions. I appreciate you all that watch my videos and stopping by. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.